Growing up, I was always into swimming in the ocean. You poke your head underwater and you realize that there's a whole other world under there. You just start to become curious about it. My name is Ariadne Reynolds. I'm a marine biologist with the Bay Foundation. This is how I work. So on a typical field day, I'll usually wake up around six, I'll throw all my gear in the car, and then my colleagues meet me here, and we all carpool to our boat, which is in San Pedro. The Santa Monica Bay basically stretches in the north from Malibu down to the Palos Verdes Peninsula. It's really urbanized, so there's a lot of human impacts in the Santa Monica Bay. High levels of harmful bacteria and pollutants I work on the marine team of the Bay Foundation and basically we're working to kind of reverse those impacts and restore the natural ecosystems of the Santa Monica Bay. Ready? Ready! Anchors away! On a typical dive day, we'll do three dives, and each dive is in between an hour and an hour and a half. It's a lot of neoprene. We have to put on all of our wetsuits, which is a lot of pieces. It's kind of cold. <laughs> I love being able to see part of Earth that not many people get to see very often. Being underwater kind of feels like being in space because you're weightless, so you just have no resistance on all sides of you, so you just you feel like you're in a different world almost. Before we do the restoration, we look at the entire site. When we're down there, we're looking for the density of urchins keep track of the amount of kelp that's already there, if there's any, and record every meter of rock and kelp and urchins that are there. It's a lot of counting. <laughs> so an urchin barren is an area where urchins have completely overpopulated a rocky reef area to the point where kelp cannot really populate that area. Kelp grows really quickly, so we're actually able to see the fruits of our labor pretty quickly. So you go in and you remove some of the urchins from this urchin barren, and within two weeks, there's little algae growing. And then within a month, there's kelp plants. And then within six months, the kelp plants have reached to the surface of the water. So it's kind of like watching a forest grow in front of your eyes, but underwater. The most common thing I get from people when I tell them what I do is, that's what I wanted to be when I was a kid. You know, and there's a reason that all those people didn't end up doing that, because it is a lot of hard work, you know? It's, it's, it's a lot less glamorous than people think. I think you have to love what you do, just like any job. I want to be doing something where I'm actually out in the environment that I'm trying to protect. So I think that if you have the passion for it, go for it. You should do it. We need more people who are marine biologists and who are interested in ocean conservation.